Melanie Beckler here with ask-angels.com. Let's talk about psychic cloaking. Believe it or not, I am in Las Vegas, Nevada at the moment, and so this seemed like the perfect opportunity to talk about wearing a psychic cloak. Miles and I are back in the US and we're road tripping across the country, which is why we are in Vegas for the night before driving onward tomorrow. But anyway, a psychic cloak is a form of psychic protection that not only shields, but also cloaks or hides your light energy from any lower or negative or dark forces. And the reason I thought that this would be relevant to share in Las Vegas, Nevada, is because there's all sorts of weird energies that can be present here on the Strip. And this really happens any time and any place people are drinking because alcohol can kind of open these doorways for entities and lower vibrations to enter in. So while you may have heard the phrase, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, this isn't necessarily true, especially if you're not protecting your energy because you can take on things like attachments or even entities that will go home with you and cause emotional disruptions, lower vibrational energies can cause challenges, clumsiness, all kinds of things. But what I wanna to talk to you about is how you can protect yourself against that, not only here in Vegas, but anytime you're in a crowded or busy place when you may want to shield your energy, but also prevent yourself from garnering any unwanted attention from negative energies, negative people, or negativity in any form. Know that when you wear a cloak in this way, it does sort of, it's like the invisibility cloak that Harry Potter wears, right? So you put on the cloak, and then know that some people may not see you. So be careful with this if you use a psychic cloak while you're driving. Practice extra defensive driving because you might find other people cutting you off because they simply don't see you. You're vibrating out of that level of awareness or walking around, if someone cuts you off, don't get upset. Just know that this can be a side effect of wearing a psychic cloak. So the reason you would want to do this above and beyond just wearing a psychic protective shield is if you sense that there are negative energies around that you just don't want to deal with or don't want to interact with or do the light work of releasing. So a psychic cloak could be w good to wear if you are going out to dinner somewhere and you walk in and there's a really heavy energy, but you wanna have a conversation with the person you're with, rather than clearing the building and clearing the energy, you can cloak yourself, even cloak the other person you're with to create a barrier of light protecting you. And the great thing about the cloak is within it, your vibration can shine brighter and brighter. You can shine the most brilliant, radiant heart light expanding out, raising your vibration, connecting with the angels without attracting any unwanted energies. Because here's the thing, when you shine your light brighter, you can, in some cases, attract lower vibrational entities or energies. Earthbound spirits may actually think you are the light, and so instead of going into the light, they can attach to your energy instead of crossing over, or some ankle biter, lower frequencies may try to mess with you. Please don't let this scary, scare you or worry you. It's really not a big deal. It's just a little awkward. And this is why we surround ourselves with light to protect from these sorts of things. And know that if you do take on any lower vibrational energies, which a good sign of this is your mood drops or you're just suddenly feeling off, call in the angels. Angels, cleanse my energy. Imagine a waterfall of light flowing around you. Also, a psychic shower is a great way to cleanse your energy. As the water streams around you, imagine it's cleansing you fully and completely and any negativity is releasing, dissolving, transmuting into the light. But back to the psychic cloak. To wear a psychic cloak, it's so simple. You simply ask 
intend. The first time I would recommend asking the angels to help you craft it. I actually have a psychic cloak of protection meditation with Archangel Michael inside of the angel solution or the psychic protection course. But here's the basics. Archangel Michael, please cloak my energy with rainbow and golden light. And just like you would imagine Harry Potter putting on that cloak, it's like a garment of rainbow and golden light all around you, shielding your energy from any and all negativity, any and all entities, any and all lower vibrational frequencies. This cloak allows love, light, goodness, joy, gratitude to permeate it, but any negativity is dispersed, dispelled, and released into the light upon contact. And inside this cloak, you can then open your heart confidently and boldly knowing you're safe and protected and you can shine brighter and brighter, standing in your authentic truth, your light, your heartfelt integrity and authenticity, shining vibrantly, fully protected, ready to head into any dense or negative situation, shielded, cloaked with the rainbow and golden light of the divine, assisted by the angels, Give this a try. If you have tried cloaking in this way before, comment below and let me know about your experience. Or if this is new to you, next time you go into a busy situation, a big crowd where you would normally take on negative energies from others, work with the psychic cloak to maintain your positive state, your high vibration, and just keep shining because your light is beautiful, vibrant, and so needed in the world. I hope this is helpful for you. I honor you. I bow to the divine light in you. Namaste. Comment below if you haven't already. Subscribe here on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up, and then I will see you soon.